you guys are gonna see some stuff in here that are probably most rare and endangered species of turtles in the whole entire world. Check this out, you guys. So this is probably one of only in the world. Holy moly, look at the color on that thing. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Whoa. Today, we're not at the ranch. We're the birds exotics of the world. We got the Audrey truck Shh, back as well, back after like finally. Months. And we're at Charlie Morkoff's private residence. And here's the man with the plan. We're gonna go hey check it out. And he has a bunch of cool stuff. We already did a quick little tour around and you guys are gonna be really, really impressed about some of the stuff here. Go, go, Let's go, go check everything out and let's do it. We're gonna start off with this thing right here. That's a statue. Let's do it. That's a statue. Nice morning right now. It's actually cold out, which is really weird. It was summer and now it's cold again. Bat boxes everywhere, all kinds of cool stuff. We got a lot of rain last night. Sun just came out, spotted turtles live here, hopefully. Probably so this is your spotted turtle enclosure? Yeah. Uh, all right. 10 feet by 30. 10 by 30. This is like an aviary for turtles. Oh, wow. There's a walkway. Oh, there's a walkway too. This is awesome. I've seen this a few times on videos, but seeing it in person is that much cooler. So how many are in here? I'd say there's, uh, I know there's four males and I'd say there's a, maybe 15 to 20 females. Wow. Plus a bunch of juveniles and hatchlings. Oh, so they just breed in here, no problem. Everything just to, does its thing. For, for eggs. You try to search for eggs. I pulled a bunch Do of they come onto this side a lot? Rarely. Th this this has an overhang here. Oh, okay. But when the plants, I let it go kind of wild and natural. They like it better. No, for sure. Like it when they can see you and you can't see them. But this is epic. The the you can't see one turtle. That's literally how you're supposed to have your enclosure. When you can't see them, they're happy. And they probably produce for you like insane. Yeah, yeah. I pull a lot of eggs out. And Thick. I this is the thickest athlete. gauge one by one. Or this is half by half this is for half a lion man yeah this is for a freaking lion <laughs> and I, I like that it has a solid barrier so yeah nothing you get in nothing they, you get out they're not going to walk the fence and try to get out they they can't oh and you have a concrete barrier concrete barrier it's on a it's on a foundation wow nothing can get in you know we have so many native or yeah non -native predators invasive. and predators and stuff yeah there's basilisk lizards that in here do you here. have to feed them or they just hunt on their own i stocked it with shrimp guppies Platties, wow. all sorts of stuff. Is uh, it deep? It's about 18 inches in the middle. Oh, wow. But it, it's like a gradual slope. There's usually a male that hangs out right here. So, so you know his hiding it. spot? Dude, we cannot find one. Yeah, I haven't seen one. He says about like 20 in here. But I know when it's cool out too, they'll go into the mud on the bottom, right? Yeah, the, it, it's cool enough now, they'll go way down to the bottom. And if you guys see one, let me know. I, I don't see anything right now, but they're in here. They're in here. Let's see if you got the, the turtle hands. I don't have anything right now. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Oh, you got one. Oh, wow, look at that one. That's a male? Female. I would say. It's a male. Big male. Looks like a big male. Look at that thing. Look at the spots. Comes out, you'll know. Yeah, I, I tried to start with highly spotted, really attractive ones. But look at that. Very happy in here. That's oh, really for cool. sure. This is dope. All right. All right. Let's keep on moving. I had oh, wow. uh, a collaboration done with some... Really cool guys. Tanner and them did this, Tanner right? Tanner Serpa. Yeah. Greg Brashear, who I love. Dan the Turtle Man, who I also love. Okay. They came and built this. It was a really cool, fun project. What are those? Caramels down there? These are, yeah. Uh, caramel. Can pink. I step in here? Yeah, 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 for sure. Caramel pink rendered sliders. Okay. So the, uh. So obviously the little male and the big female. Yeah. See those things out under you guys? The male's actually courting the female. You got to see with his long little fingernails. Let's see if he does a little shake in a second. There you go. Let's see if he does it. She looks like she's a little happy. And he doesn't even care that we're here. No, he doesn't. No. So the uh, snapping turtles ended up getting uh, sent to a different facility. Okay, I was going to say, there's no snappings in here, huh? No. Nope. And then... So they could get out. Yeah, there's three ponds in here, actually. There's oh, wow. a pond here, and then another one in the corner. So they have a lot of options. And it's only these two? Nope, there's uh, some Florida red bellies. Okay. There's I was about to say, this is a humongous thing. enclosure for two turtles yeah. that probably don't move that five, much. Uh, five or six Florida red bellies. Okay. It's nice. Yeah. Very natural. That's, again, the way you want to have your enclosures. The more natural, the better, and I guarantee they're going to be happy. Even though they're albino, they don't know that they're albino, and they're still going to think that this is the best of the best. Yeah, and these, because they're caramels, they have dark eyes. Okay. So they actually have a little bit better eyesight. Not, not perfect, but... Yeah, not like the albinos. Albino. Awesome. Before we go in here, there's one tortoise in here yeah. that is it's out of this world. I think I've seen that one before yes. as well, but again, in person, it's probably going to be... It's amazing, this animal. So you have an enclosure inside another enclosure. For an enclosure. For an yeah, enclosure. So there's different levels of predators. Okay. This is raccoon-proof and human-proof. Yep. 
and then that is rat proof. Yes. That is rat proof. So different ages. Makes sense. Uh, and you different. and have you had issues with rats before with turtles? I not with turtles, but I had Patagonia Mars that lived here, and because they are a rodent and they like to have food all the time, rodents will come. That bamboo over there was a perfect condo for rats. So we're uh, yeah we're re re. Configuring everything actually. So again, it kind of looks like an enclosure of no turtles, mm. but they're, they're, there's probably a lot. That's a cherry. This one's right pretty, pretty special. It probably has the most red on it. Is this any. a female? Yeah, that's female. Oh my gosh, she's heavy. Look at that thing. That is one fire head right there. That is wild looking. So what's the size group inside of here of the cherries? 1.5 adults. Oh, wow. There's a juvenile male that lives in here. And then these guys came to me from a friend in Minnesota. Once they reach a certain point, people realize that they're nice. That'll they don't really live in Minnesota all that well. <laughs> but that one's pretty cool. Oh, wow. oh yeah, nice, nice and marbled. <clears throat> so I'll hang on to. And not to say there. like anything like oh, so these weren't raised from here. But I was gonna say with yeah. the humidity out here, they they're probably over there. Smooth, guys, smooth, smooth. These guys are already getting smoother. They've been here yeah. eight months. And they're already smoothing so, out. It's crazy. Yeah, but they were a little, you know, they lived inside most of the year up there. This one's but real dark. That's real dark. Then there's kind of an orangey one. Oh, wow, yeah. That's cool. She's cool. Nice growth lines. Yeah, you? nice ones. Yeah, so. Thick. Thick old girls. That's awesome. And they have a plenty of freaking hides, and they just nest right on this ground with no problem, yeah. huh? They, uh, they have hides going in all different directions. Everything's a little wet and messy. Yeah. Last night, but... But it's definitely cool out here. Oh, wow. That's an interesting looking one. So what's the story behind this one? This one was found walking on the side of the road. Probably kept in a fish tank. Yeah. Fed poorly. Really wonky. But you could tell uh, from how it used to be to when Charlie got them. Yeah. How the body with proper nutrition and the right care. Started going back. They come, yeah, and come I never back. expected her to breed her legs. She didn't need to. But she's produced a lot of babies. Oh, wow. And, and at the end of the day, it doesn't make a difference. Yeah. no. The she's going to have perfect babies. Yeah, so she's uh, she's kind of our mascot for. That's cool looking. It. This is just a Florida raised. Oh wow. The male. Oh wow! Let's Look see. at that little guy. He's spicy. <laughs> oh yeah, comes running after you. Yeah. That when, he, <laughs> when he's in breeding mode, he'll bite your feet and stuff. That's fine. Look at that head on that thing. It's kind of cool marble. It's kind of fading now, but this one was living in a basement in Cincinnati. Oh wow. And the guy said, "Would you?" give it a home so same thing it was kind of bumpy yeah you know, florida like, now. these are great in florida oh yeah definitely awesome cherry head squad all right so, turtles let's do it uh, we got orchids over here we have i like plants okay so this is kind of cool aquaponics was that a hiding spot of fish food <laughs> yeah ready to go i'm ready so these are just uh veil tail goldfish but okay. the, the theory behind it is the water gets pumped up goes through this lava rock yeah bed um and then it goes into two areas that's a deep water it just grows duckweed and some plants and so it cycles rocks and logs if i want to use them for pond okay and then this one which i have capped off you can do herbs vegetables this drain it uh has a ball siphon yeah it comes up the bell siphon comes up and drains oh it drains um, right back into the pond so right back so all of that aerates cleans yeah, kind of cool. It would be an insane garden with all the fish uh, waste that they produce here. Yeah, and I do water changes too, but this pretty much I can. But start the playing. rain also helps a lot too with the yeah, water. Yeah, we get changes. so much rain. More goldfish in here, Bristol Shimunkins, and then this is because I'm weird. I grow. Oh, the snail! There, yeah, you gave me a bunch snails. of these things. It's neat, and they don't get out of here. They stay right in. They might crawl at some, but like you can see, eggs and more snails. Oh wow! And, uh, There's more turtles up here. Yeah, I have more cherry heads. Cherry head babies. Oh man! What's so in here? Oh wow! Uh, Look at that, right in the sun, perfect too. That's a nice one. And, and Look at the colors on that thing, you guys. He's got some good neck color. It's gorgeous. Look at that. It was show, a little bumpy, dude. but he's growing smooth now. Yeah, it's real nice. Fun. Nice. And then, perfect. That's pretty cool. A little female there. Hey, little nice little girl. girl. How you doing? And then these guys, Lewis, you want to grab them? Yeah. And would you have the, you have them sex paired already? That's a, yeah, that's a male and female. These were also sent from my friend in Minnesota, and you can tell this is already growing so much smoother. You can yeah. look on the side and see. Oh wow! Mm -hmm. 
It's crazy though because it's so dry over there and you don't miss them down. Yeah. They just and this it'll just ride itself. So I think the I mean I'll, I would I would find homes for those. That's two females. Neat. Well, if you guys are interested, there you go. Two female cherry heads. Two, two females. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. This setup is perfect. Right? Yeah, they're that perfect. High, this drains. So yeah, I was about to ask. They drain, I would assume, because if not, it'll be a bathtub. Yeah, uh, there's holes everywhere. Oh, okay, cool. And then southern painted turtles, which I really like. These oh, southerns. Done. Okay. You ever like the easterns? I don't. I, I like the southerns. They're smaller. They have the dorsal. Stripes. The southerns are the ones that are green with the orange stripe. Yeah. Yeah. And I think you have some special ones inside too, right? Yeah. All right. Look at those. Inside's kind of different. Yeah, make sure you guys are watching this whole entire thing because we're just showing the outside and it's just like, it's awesome. But once we go inside, we already saw inside. That's why I was like, let's go outside and then go inside. The inside is really, really, really neat. And there's some killer animals in there that are some future goals to get one as well for my turtle collection too. So we're gonna go see them in a few minutes. All right, so we're entering inside of, is this another name area or no? Just my, this is uh, the hidden den for Charlie's is, amazing stuff. Is, All right. Uh, my this is smirk. look at this smirk look at this smirk look, he's happy <laughs> all right listen 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 before we get inside i am horrible at being organized and clean i'm pretty clean and pretty organized but not to this level it isn't i pretty much want to leave my shoes right here yeah, you're fine. i mean it is sparkly clean inside of here and it is top notch wild inside of here all right you guys are gonna see some stuff in here that are probably most rare and endangered species of turtles in the whole entire world everyone thinks oh my god yeah, it's cool. Yeah. Everyone thinks Florida is so great for animals to live outside. And but, to a degree, correct. wonderful. But these guys, for instance, Egyptian tortoises, critically endangered. Um, She's nesting? That's nesting right there. Yeah. Look at that. Crazy, you guys. And that turtle right there is, what, three inches? Yeah. Males and how deep is this dirt inside here so that she can nest? Say, there's a nesting area there, which she's choosing not to use, but I'd say four or five inches. Look at this, right on camera. Oh, there's a little hole. Right on camera, you guys. We have... You sure? I don't want to mess with her. No, she won't. I'm going to come on this side. They get a little bit in the zone. Yeah, yeah, they, they get into that. Look at that, you guys. That's awesome. Wow, and it is, if you guys were able to feel the temperature in here, it is hot inside of there. But the Egyptian yeah. tortoise, right at her face, nesting. What is the ratio in that group right here? That's uh, six adults up top. And then three single males on the bottom. And then one juvenile female halfway down on the right. Wow. This is crazy. Oh, look. Look at that little Egyptian right there. One of the smallest species of tortoises in the world, right? Yeah, for sure. And the males are... Because what well, after that is the tent tortoises. No, tent tortoises are a little bigger. That's it, right? I think it's the smallest. Yeah. Just one of the smallest. Just one other uh, mm, African... Actually, put in the comments. Yeah. What, what do you think is the smallest yeah. tortoise? I know this the one, the bow sprite, the tent tortoise. All those guys are pretty small. So this one... Parrot tortoise. It's another one. Look at that. That one's flawless. Beautiful. Jesus Female. Jesus. Flawless. Two years old. Pretty smooth. Some of them are bumpy. These guys, they can't have too much humidity, correct? Yeah, I missed it every morning. And that's um, it. The heat goes on, it's on timers. Um, I'll open and close this a little bit. It's not, you know, it doesn't yeah. have to be perfect. Um, the substrate I added, it, it's chicken grit. How many, added, how many eggs do they have at a time? I've had four, usually two, three. So that's a smaller female. I would assume that's, that's a, a smaller female. That's a bigger female. Yeah. So she would probably yeah. like four eggs. Yeah. Dope. And I've hatched a, I hatched a bunch. Last year was my first year hatching them. Okay. But she came to me as a, as a hatchling. So it's kind oh, of cool wow. to have See her. this next generation. Yeah. And then the males. That's the male. Full-size breeder male? Yeah. That would be funny to watch these little things breed. Totally. Look at that. That is so cool. So that's a three-inch tortoise, full-size. Yep. So if you want like a rare species of tortoise and a tortoise that, you know, doesn't get big and have it in your apartment. For sure. Look at this. This is one wall right in your apartment. Perfect species of tortoise. This is nine feet. And each, these guys each have three feet. Wow. Um, and they live separately, but to get them to breed, you put yeah. them together and they do a little bit of combat. And, and that's that it. just kind of gets them going. Hormone levels up. Uh, then they'll breed. Heck yeah. Keep them in colonies and their, their reproduction is low. Yeah. But you move them around in the wild. They're not with each other all the time. They move yeah. around. They get a little, they travel, they beat each other yeah. up nicely. And then they breed. Heck yeah. That's cool though. We got a little action right here. Things will go in here. And that has more um, bark in there just to keep that humidity up. Got it. And you know, when I've had things, I'll make yeah. some I had pancakes in here. That I wonder, that's really what I looked cool. like. Um, but they went, they got uh, big enough to go back to the breeding program. So they've made, cool. uh, what's cool is I work with a lot of organizations and friends and I like growing babies. Uh, you'll see these really cool 
uh, marginated up there. Oh, wow. And they'll go back when they're a little bit older. That's a caramel so, or albino? Yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's got dark eyes, so it's not an albino. They because they're it. leucistic? Uh, this is from, this is from Andrew, right? Yeah, yeah. We all love Andrew. Yeah. And he had just he popped up in his yard. He produced that one. Yeah. Can we take that one out or not? Yeah, for sure. Let's take this little badass little animal out. Check this out, you guys. So this is probably one of only in the world. Well, no, there's... I think the... Oh, holy moly. Look at the color on that thing. Dude, this is amazing. Marginated tortoise. Pretty much, I guess, caramel. Or leucistic. He called it a T-positive albino caramel. So I don't know if it's caramel al albino. The Check albino that out. But, I mean, it's a really beautiful animal. And then there's a... You can... There's a... Crazy. A head in here. Well, can, flawless freaking job on the growth, too. Yeah. Smooth, smooth, smooth. Oh, you have a sibling in there, right? Yeah, you can just for comparison. And what's okay. Is it didn't grow quite Look at fast. that. Look at that, you guys. Normal and like that. I mean, yeah, crazy. Oh, that's crazy that that's growing faster than the other one. Yeah, this one's really bold, comes out, follows you around. I mean, it's really yeah, has it's great personality. That is yeah. awesome. Yeah. Yeah, they're not super cool. All. These are so long. So. They don't do as well in South Florida. I guess it's too humid. Yeah. It doesn't really get a cool down these period. Cool, man. Awesome. These are the ranch. These guys got hibernate, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm put them back That's real neat. Them out too and uh, I have these fake, I'm not really all about fake plants. I love plants. Yeah. But this, uh, John Heidegger taught me that. And you can miss these. And, Irradiated. And these oh, just wow. hold humidity longer. You can grab those too. I don't know if they're quality or not. Those are, you know what? It's irradiated. They're all <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm no, kidding. they're nice. They're beautiful. I like the yellow heads on them. Yes. No, you're, you're, you're all about the yellow heads. Yellow heads. Oh, yeah. That's neat. Somebody's looking at us. Oh, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Do you have adult radiated sewer or you're just raising up a bunch right just now? Just raising up a bunch. Awesome. So they already have their future enclosure ready to go. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. And they, they're another one. They do great in Florida year round. Oh, yeah. South Florida. And these guys. <laughs> this is. That's a real light color. one right there. Yeah, they come in, they're, they're pretty variable. Every time I go back home to Connecticut, I bring home oak leaves. Definitely want to work with these soon. Put them inside my building, yeah. would work perfect. Look at that. So happy. Give it to her. Yeah, put it on the rock. She'll come over. Come on, buddy. Oh my God, look at those eyes. No, you can like, beat it now. Look. That's all right. Look at those eyes. Sheesh. The killers. Super cool. I always love watching Chris from Garden State doing this kind of things. I think it's so freaking cool. And that's a, that's a full grown um, so awesome. female. So what is the main diet on this? I know they, they eat a lot of earthworms, but what else do you feed these guys? I feed them pellets. Uh, they like blueberries. I'll mix some stuff up. Yeah. Some vegetables, peppers. Have you produced these before? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And you have four? No, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, oh, wow. And that made me not turn around. There's freaking a ton more over yeah. here. And they have to be separated. Let's close this yeah, door. These guys, these <laughs> guys jump <laughs> out. Uh, and great species of turtle as well to keep inside of enclosure in your apartment. Yeah. I mean, one that was, that's a male right there. Look at him. Yeah, that's a male. He is. Oh, I got to get some of these guys soon. Set up a whole area. Look at him go. Oh my God, they're so funny. You were tongue fed a turtle before? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? I'm not afraid of worms, but those things, I mean- I don't wanna get bit by So, yeah. So the same thing that, that you put the females and males together every once in a while? Yeah. <clears throat> and these guys only lay like what, two eggs? Two, I've had two, friends have had three, I've only had two. And, and they're very long oval eggs, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're, it's like a- Like a spotted turtle egg. Oh, oh wow, look at her. She's big. big. Yeah, she looks pretty big. And then what, they max out like no more than like four and a half inches probably? Yeah. Let's see how fast this thing comes running around the bush. Super, super cool little personal little turtles. Now these definitely have some really good personality. Huge prey drive. Boom, got him. So cool, you guys. And you can make it as elaborate as you want. You know, oh yeah. Enclosures. I, it's kind of basic. I mean, you can't really kill pothos or those button ferns. And then the. And that's real leaves. plants in there. Yep. Oak leaves just kind of. Help it out. And then I put it And I noticed leaves. they don't need light, huh? No. I dust. They don't need UV light. I dust. Uh, with, wow. You know, vitamin So just enough you know, next to the window. Yeah. These guys have light for the plants, really. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's really neat. 
These yeah. guys are freaking cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. We should talk about these. So these are McCord's box turtles. One of my and favorites, for sure. this is a pair. I believe that's a male and a female. I keep the, you know, they're basically a box turtle. Yeah. I keep them aquatic until they're a year and a half or two, and then they'll go more terrestrial. Yeah. Um, awesome just, species. They're more comfortable that way. They stay hydrated. Look at that. Hey, little buddy. What's up? They're absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous turtle. His face is actually these, like these shining. Are, are uh, claimed to be extinct in the wild. Yeah. Crazy. Hey, They're like the oh, cousin bottle. of a Flava Martinata. Yeah. Um, but maybe a little prettier. And then you have the golden coin as well. Yeah, and these are way more rare. Yeah, for sure. Awesome turtle right there. That's so cool. It's kind of fun to raise these up, and, and then they'll go to a facility where they can breed. Yeah. Look at that. Hey, buddy. I love the underside. Heck yeah. That's awesome. Hey, buddy. Super, super cool. I love the pink underneath. Yeah, they're so neat. And they, they reach out about six, seven inches, right? Full size? I don't think quite that big. Five, six. Five, maybe? six. Oh, yeah. He sees it. Oof. There he goes. Bam. Look at that. So it's another species that really will never be outdoors in Florida. <clears throat> Got it. And why is that these species can't go outside? Just, uh, I, I flew up a marginatus before and they got like this crud on them. Okay. And they'd bury down for the winter and then they'd come up and... You didn't, have, you didn't like it? Yeah, I just want to make sure they, they get really good care. Got it. You know how we fight the fungus on the redfoots and cherry heads? Yeah. Um, they're kind of the same thing. Got it. Wow. You got some turtle yoga. Turtle what? Turtle yoga. And some really cool turtle yoga right there. Check those guys out. So those are uh, southern painted turtles. They're both albino. Okay. And I believe both female. Those are pretty pennies. They're kind of different. And then there's a male head down below. Oh, yeah. Also young, just kind of comparison. So he would breed with those two females? Yeah, eventually. Obviously. Yeah, one day. They're, they're 2023s. Yeah, so they will be ready for another like three years, four years. That's cool. Real neat. And then up here. This is something we were talking about earlier at the beginning of the video, guys, about the spotted turtles. So you can tell a normal baby spotted turtle there. Dark black, sooty black, great spots. I don't know if you can tell. I mean, yeah, we can see it again. One side. No, that's good. But that, that's what you would say, you know, if you find a baby, that's what they look like. Yeah, exactly. Different degree of spots. And then. This, this guy. One is more of a real caramel color. Look at that. No, no spot. spot. It almost like kind of reminds you of kind of a, of a bog turtle, but when you flip yeah. it to the light, I mean, look at the coloration and on even it. Even the skin tone is, is degrees lighter Very than light. the other. The other would be more yellow. So these are probably one of the only's in the world right now. I'd say, yeah, that there were, uh, I would say, I don't know that, but in, in this country for sure. Yeah. And then you can see as they get a little older, they well, get probably, a touch darker. There's and probably it's getting some spots, but still very, very different. Some people might have them, have no idea what they have, if they yeah. had them, but this is, you know, the yeah. United States, we look at different colors as a, a good reason. It's pretty cool. And they're very pink. Yeah, they are. Real neat. So those are both females of the parents that I dragged in from outside. So you know the exact parents from them too. Yeah, I have parents here. That's crazy, two start normal turtles. <laughs> yeah. And they're actually a lot lighter also. Can't really tell. Yeah. But, um, huh. that one's more um, grayish, that yeah, one's yeah. more red. Oh wow! Um, That's the female male. Yep. Yeah. yeah, and they're actually they're pretty tiny. Yeah, they are small. They're definitely male. Yeah, definitely. But even the coloration, you know, normally the males have like a sooty black, uh -huh. uh, kind of a charcoaly chin. That's got like bone yeah. colored. Wow. So they're really different, and they live out in a waterland tub. And these are loggerhead musk? No. These are uh, three stripe. Three stripe. Okay. Or stripe mud turtles. Little guys. There's one really cool looking one. Yeah, that's cool. Definitely cool little guys. I they were really cool, things. really cool head color. Small little turtles. Definitely, you know, they're all different variables. Yeah, for sure. I think that's a male. They will bite you. I mean, these things yeah. are like little snapping turtles. They're cool little guys. Most turtles are neat. I love that guy. He is super cool. I'll, I'll be sad when that one goes back. Incubator over here. And I like to raise a lot. Like, 
I have like a mealworm situation going there. Awesome. Earthworms. There you go. It's when I buy bulk. There you go. Different. You have a lot of eggs incubated right now? Handful? I've got uh, cherry heads. So Why do you have these covered? I just think they like it dark. Okay. I mean, it's an egg, but still. Yeah, yeah. I just do it. Keeps the temperature. Oh, wow. You, you're loaded in there. Yeah. It's kind of cool to see. Like. Oh, yeah. Look at the fertility. You can see them already growing in there. Yep. All cherry heads. Those are kind of weird shaped. Those are yeah. recent. I can't what are these? Uh, Egyptian eggs. Holy crap. That's the size they are. Yeah. They come out, they come out real small then. And then in that is um, more mud turtles. Oh, the hope. But you can tell like when it looks like that, it's getting yeah. closer. Heck you know? yeah. Not much going on in there yet. That's neat. All right, check this out. A little cherry hedge right here. Oh, is this ha produced here? Yeah, yeah. That's maybe a week old. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at the one in the back. It's my though. favorite to work with. The cherry heads? That one's really cool because it's already marbling. Oh, That's wow. really young to marble. That might be a one. Nice one right there. I think Cash would like this one. Yeah. <laughs> you can take that home. <clears throat> Shh, don't tell me twice. Look at that thing. You can have it. And you know what the funny thing? Yeah. That's from that rescue, Martha. For real? Yeah. Look at this little red. Jesus Christ. Wow, look at him. I've had some like that before, and they're like they're really, really small. You can see the little egg tooth and everything still on them. Yeah. Crazy. It blends in with Lulu's beard. <laughs> <laughs> And there's more leaf turtles here? Yeah, one more leaf turtle. So we have a whole call in here. I've been noticing that we went to another facility, a private one. We didn't film at it. And 10 of them too. So I'm going to have to step my game up and start getting yeah. some of these cool guys. They are neat. And they're still a nice high value turtle. Yeah. yeah. And they should stay like that. Yeah. I definitely think they should stay like that. There's always a demand. I, I like because working with things that are going to have a home, always have a demand. Correct. Nothing against Alcada breeders. I'm just not that guy. <laughs> I am. I'm still that guy. <laughs> no, you got to start. You got to start from the floor up. You do. You do. Uh, but let me just go back to this. This yeah. room is probably two car garage. Just a two, two car garage. So what is that? That's like fifteen by fifteen, twenty by twenty. Twenty by twenty. Twenty by twenty. North, big size room, king size room, and you can make a whole business out of here. I mean, look how cool this room is. Really Beautiful, cool. clean. So many rare species that live perfectly breeding, producing all right here. Refrigerator, your storage room, your sink, and all of the freaking animals right here. I mean, it's beautiful. It's perfect. It works. I have isopods up top yeah. there. He has growing his food inside the room. Everything. I mean, it's it's super, it super. Smell like no, it's smell. perfect. It, this is not a. You would walk in here and you wouldn't even know. We can definitely say one thing. Definitely a cherry head guy. I like cherry heads. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not afraid to admit it. But you can tell when they're raised in Florida. Oh, yeah. And these are raised inside, but I keep it pretty wet. They don't have fungus. You Look know? at that. Very diet. It's cool. They, they very, 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 very smooth. Look at these in here. So these are all bigger guys. How many yeah, in here? Seven. Oh, so you did this for more humidity. Yeah. Look at that. I can touch them? Yeah. I haven't touched anything today. Look at that, you guys. Are those just two up a little? Look at this, you guys. I'm going to bring this to the sun real quick. Look at the whites on this radiated. Look at that. Woo! She is glowing. Look at that glow right there. Is that beautiful or what? It looks absolutely fake. Insane. All right, one last thing before everybody goes. Go ahead. We have a foundation. We've raised a lot of money, given away a lot of money to organizations, taking kids on field trips, done a lot of educational stuff, had a lot of cool people come and video this collection. Uh, the money we raise does not go towards my collection. It all goes out the door, so. You can check that out, More Crop Conservation Foundation, really great organization, We've helped all different walks of life, turtles, tortoises, birds of prey, wolves, all different continents, local, international, so check cool. it out. We'll put the link right here for you guys, and other than that, I appreciate it, Lewis, appreciate it, appreciate Thank you, it. Charlie. Thank you, Lewis, it's always a pleasure. And I will see you guys in the next one, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you guys later. Peace out, everybody. Thanks.